They call it a mine. <laughs> Hello from the bottom of a very long mine shaft. Um, this was the original copper deposit that I found down here. How you like my fake stairs? <laughs> this was the other copper deposits. <laughs> we have one rich crystallized chunk and like three and a half stacks worth of copper. Yeah, so I think we're set for copper. No matter where we go, if there's a copper deposit there, if there isn't, uh, I think we're set for a minute. Yeah. Um, <laughs> all right, give me that back. Thank you. Okay. I went an extra level. I got 30 about the middle of this level, but I decided to just finish it off. So now I have 36 andesite rocks. Uh, hopefully that will be enough and I will never need to come down here again. It's been very nice to me. I appreciated the two copper deposits, very chunky copper deposits. Uh, but to be honest, I, I prefer not to be down in this deep, dark hole again. Thank you very much. I think on the way up, I am going to try... That is so distracting. I think on the way up, I am going to try and grab some of this gold. The thing about silver and gold is that they're in quartz deposits. So there could be a lot of it here. There could be a lot, a lot of it. And I just won't know until I basically take up the entire... Oh, Lord Jesus. Wow. Yeah, that was me being dumb. Um, I really won't know until I take down the entire quartz deposit. Which I'm not prepared to do. <laughs> um, I guess, I guess here's what I'd like to do. Really not have a bunch of things cave in on me. I would really like to not have things cave in on me. Did I drop that or did I actually pick it up? Guess I'm descending to find out. Okay, I'm glad it was down there and I don't look like a total fool. <laughs> Just a mild one. Six, and it's bountiful. I don't really know what I'm going to do with it yet. So I don't want to waste too much time trying to peel it out of the ground. But on the other hand, I think this might be the first time I've ever actually discovered, like full-on gold in the ground. Yeah. It might be the second time that I've ever discovered gold in a in a uh, quartz deposit. Yeah, yeah, I think it might be only the second time since I started playing. And I have worlds with, like, 300 hours logged in them. So, uh, <laughs> it's extremely rare. At least it has been for me. Okay, I really was just going to try and dig across this thing and see if I discovered anything else, but I'm like, I'm about to be under my chickens. I know quartz deposits are large, but like, wow, dude. Good thing I have this iron pickaxe. Aha, yeah, see, there's some more gold all the way over here. Oh, this is poor quality. I'm not going to be able to fit it in my inventory. Oh, well, listen, we don't need andesite pebbles. We have literally a box and a half of them, okay? <laughs> we just don't need them. Okay. Okay, so I guess... I guess what I'd like is to sort of... Actually, I'll tell you what I'd like. It's to go upstairs, finish chiseling these silly windows. Here, let's... There we go. Yeah, I'd like to go and finish chiseling these windows to know for sure whether I'm going to be needing any more andesite or not. I don't think I will, but the one time that I cap off this mine is when I'm going to need them. So let's go finish the windows. Then, if we have enough andesite and we don't need any more of it, we can cap off the mine so at least it's not all the way down. Let me put this somewhere. There you go. <laughs> this is amazing. I love this. I, I sort of have not enough room for these. 
This is great. This is absolutely stellar. 10 out of 10 wood copper again. Okay, then we're going to take the pantograph and our chisel tools. And we're going to come upstairs. And we're going to murder this crab because he does not belong in my house. Bro. Okay. Today's lesson is that crabs are hard to kill because they won't sit still. Sir? Ow, ow, stop. Stop, sir. Oh my god. Yatsu versus crab. There. Ha! <laughs> oh my gosh. That was not a fair fight. I was at a disadvantage. Okay. Then we can simply take the pantograph. Copy that. Oh, because we chose to copy only... Yeah, we want paste... And materials. There we go. Now that we have enough and a site, we need the materials. Uh, and I guess, yeah. I hope that ladder will still attach. Yes, it will. Okay, beautiful. All right, all right. Then we can take this and we will paste it here. You have to have the hammer in your offhand just to rotate it, huh? There you go. There you go. There we go. Oh, wait. Is this only... Yeah, I only did it one... Oh, whoops. I did that one wrong. Uh, I'm going to need my hand planer back. That was not... Uh, that was not a genius move on my part. Here we go. There, that's much better. Okay, all right. Then we can copy that. We can paste it here. We can paste it here. We can paste it here. There, that looks much better. That looks much better. Okay. And in fact, we can even copy paste these, at least the top ones, and then we'll have to go back for the bottom ones. There we go. Oh, well, that one's not even done, so that's going to be a little pointless, isn't it? I think. I think <laughs> that should get the outside looking correct, too. Yes. Oh, yes. Beautiful. Spatial awareness test passed. Beautiful. <laughs> Which means I also forgot the front of this one. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we'll have to check that one in a minute. Here. Here, here's how I'm going to do this one. <laughs> so I don't have to worry about that anymore. There we go. And then we can just put that back. <laughs> there we go. Let me double check that because I don't trust it. Yes, perfect. Beautiful. Sold. Okay. Yeah, let's, let's repaste these because I really can't remember if I did the front properly or not. And it's literally trivial to just do it again okay okay now we can copy the bottom and we can put this in place as well and then we'll just turn that one around beautiful okay i think i think the geometry lesson is over i think that's everybody <laughs> Uh, let me get some of this stuff out of my hotbar before I accidentally click on something again. But I think... Uh, let me do it this way. Through the magic of... <laughs> of, uh, third-person cam, I can make sure that the outside is done. 
Yeah, I, I think we're done. I think we're good here. Yeah, yeah, that looks... Oops. Yeah, that looks okay. All right, I think we're actually done with the chiseling part. We have four windows up here, all done. We have a window here, all done. We have a window here, all done. We need to do the doors. Yep, this is cute, by the way. This is really cute. I like that a lot. It does look a little bare because these are up here, but I don't think you can have both at once. Yeah, that looks really cute like that. Uh, yeah, these windows are all done as well. And this poor lonely boy only has a door. Oh, wonderful. All right, let's have some lunch. And then we will uh, take off this door. And we will chisel. I wonder if I'm gonna wanna put this door on the inside as well. ones in the van, didn't I? This hot bar is suddenly not big enough. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna need, actually, I'm gonna need four of those because I gotta do the other gate like this as well. There you go, there, that looks much better, yeah. Perfect, perfect, perfect. <laughs> okay. And we can take the pantograph for these. There you go. We'll just have to do these over, but that's fine. That is not any problem. Do you want to believe I think we're going to be one short? We're gonna be one short. Oh, shit. Not enough space. There we go, there we go. Yeah, let's try. It still swings out. So, yeah, I guess I do want it like that. I don't mind having like a little threshold. Yeah, that's kind of cute. I don't mind that at all. I have a little dirt threshold on all the other ones, so that's cute. Yeah, I kind of like that. It's just because it white, it's white that it, like, is a little brighter and stands out a little bit more, but I kind of like that, actually. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now, it is inside out. I see that because here's the little gate thing, the little wicket gate opener thingy. So it does make my gates inside out, <laughs> which is a bit of a tragedy. But it's fine. I really, I think I don't mind it. The nice thing is we can just paste these. Yeah, we are going to be one short, people. I can't believe that. I'm so irritated about that right now. Uh, let's rotate these. Yeah, we have one and we need... I can't... You know what? I think we can use one of the cracked ones. <laughs> that is so obnoxious! Yeah, I think we can use one of the cracked ones because it's only going to be one square at the top, so the difference is going to be barely noticeable. Oh, uh, here, here. Yeah, you can't tell at all. No one will ever know. Because you and I will not tell anyone. It's a secret. <laughs> How do I... There we go. 
Yeah, this door is also inside out, but that's fine. I don't, I don't mind. We'll just pretend that that doesn't look like that. <laughs> it's fine. I'd rather have it like, in, uh, you know, inset like that to match the windows. Yeah, that looks cute. Yeah, that's adorable. I guess I kind of wish the tree was over here. It's fine. I think I am going to put some sort of plaque there. So it'll be a little more balanced. It's fine. And I do have to do the beams on the rest of the smith. Um. Oh, look, I forgot to... Yeah, here, I forgot to fix this part. Not close again, please. There we go. There we go. It's that kind of detail work that no one will ever actually notice. <laughs> yeah, the back of this is kind of plain, but once we get the beams up there, it won't look quite so bad. Okay. Okay, we are, in fact, done with the andesite portion of this mine. I'm going to go retrieve my ladders. And I guess we're going to cap it off right below the quartz deposit. Because I do, I do want some of that gold. I need to figure out what I'm going to do with it, but I do need it. <laughs> Don't know what I need it for yet, but I'm going to, I'm going to figure that out. I think I just want like some cute trim or something. Just a few cute little gold accents. Okay. And then we're going to put this right there. There we go. So now we can just pop down. Enjoy the bounty of quartz that we have under our house. And apparently the variety of gold deposits that we have under here as well. Bountiful and poor. We have the best of times and the worst of times. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. All right. I think I'm going to put a trapdoor over this thing. Yeah, yeah, I think I'm going to put a trapdoor over it. Because we have an extra one. Uh -oh. There we go. And given how large that quartz deposit is, there's no way that I can realistically exhaust it. It's just not going to happen. Especially without bombs. That's really not going to happen. Okay, the other thing I'm going to do today, I guess, is put on some of these beams. Um, we are on this one. And the lower level, we're going to do every other. As it turns out, I do like that. And the building is exactly the right size for it. The pure mathematical joy I felt when I discovered that, you guys. <laughs> I was like, this is wonderful. Uh, yeah, no, that's fine. Okay, there we go. And then we'll do a full row on the top, but obviously now I'm out of beam, so I gotta make some more of those. Um, yeah, I think we're at a bit of a stopping point here, so that's how it's gonna go for today pop up on top of this house for a nice view of the almost completed smithy. Is that a baby chicken? It's a ba it's two babies. <gasps> we have baby chickens. They're so cute, you guys. Adorable. A little brown one and a nice cute white one. Aw. All right. Life is complete. We have a chicken family. We have four whole buildings. <laughs> yeah, we are getting down to the nitty gritty here. We have the beams to finish putting on this one. We have some more lanterns to make. Uh, I think I would like to put these lanterns on some kind of lantern stands or, you know, something like that. 
Um, and then we have to fence in the compound, and then I have to figure out how I'm working out this lake. I think I might chop some of those gray tiles in half and use that as a border instead of a fence. Just do like a round little border just to offset it and make it cute and everything. Yeah. Wow. We are getting so close to an actual finished project. I can't even, I can taste it. I know I've said that for like a month worth of episodes now, but like, <laughs> I'm so close. <laughs> All right, so uh, I guess we'll end it here. I'm gonna go make some more beams and finish off the smithy. And then tomorrow we are gonna work on these stairs. I've been thinking about them. I have a few ideas. They involve more beams, um, <laughs> but it is much simpler than the current arrangement. So I should be able to copy paste it to the other stairs fairly easily. Um, so yeah, tomorrow we're gonna do stairs and then we have fencing and lake. And then we'll probably jump off a cliff and start another build somewhere, somewhere else. <laughs> I can't wait. Uh, thanks for joining me. Um, go adopt yourself a chicken family. They're adorable. <laughs>